Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in Natan's theorem. Find the current through the branch AB in the given network using Natan's theorem. So this is the given circuit. We are going to find out the current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor. Okay, so this is the branch AB. We are going to find out the current flowing through the resistor 5 ohm. So we can consider this resistor as the low resistor. So here we are going to use the Natan's theorem. What is Natan's theorem? So the equivalent circuit consists of the current source in parallel with one equivalent circuit which is connected with the low resistor RL. So this is the equivalent resistance. This one is the Natan's current. So we are going to convert this circuit in the form of Natan's equivalent circuit. From this we can find out the current IL. So IL is equal to what? Using current division technique, the total current IN multiplied with the equivalent resistance divided by the sum of RL and the equivalent resistance. So this is the formula. Okay. So in the solution part, first we are going to find out the Natan's current that is also known as short circuit current. Okay. So here we are going to short circuit the branch for which the current is to be calculated. So here we are going to consider the branch AB. We are going to make that AB branch as a short circuit one. Do you all understand this first step? So in the first step we are going to find out the short circuit current that is Natan's current. For that we have to short circuit the given branch AB. So here we are going to find out the current through this short circuit path. As we all know that, so when the branch is short circuit in any electronic circuit, the entire current flows through that particular path. Because the short circuit path has the least resistance value. So here we can say, the resistance for this short circuited path is approximately equal to zero. So the current prefers to flow through the low resistance path. Do you all understand this concept? So when there is a short circuit in any electronic circuit, the entire current flows through that path. Okay, so here whatever current is coming from this current source 30 ampere, that entire current is flowing through this short circuited path not through this 5 ohm as well as to that path. So here we can consider the same circuit as 30 ampere source in series with 10 ohm and then the short circuited path. Here we can get the entire current 30 ampere as a Natan's current. Do you all understand this concept? In the next step we are going to find out the equivalent resistance that is also known as Natan's resistance. So for calculating this equivalent resistance, we are going to remove the resistor across this AB terminal. Okay, so here we are going to remove this 5 ohm resistor. At the same time, there is a current source in the given circuit. So we are going to open circuit that current source. Okay. So here we have to remove this load resistor and open circuit the current source. Then we are going to find out that equivalent resistance. Since this, this point is open circuited, here we do not consider this 10 ohm resistor. So we are going to consider this 5 ohm and then 2 ohm, 1 ohm in parallel with another 1 ohm for calculating that equivalent resistance. Okay, so here this 1 ohm and this 1 ohm resistor both are in parallel. So we are going to simplify this circuit. So parallel means what? 1 ohm in parallel with 1 ohm. 1 into 1 by 1 plus 1 we can get 0.5 ohm. So this circuit can be drawn like this. Here we can take only the 5 ohm and then 2 ohm. Here the parallel circuit is simplified as 0.5 ohm. So now we are going to get the equivalent circuit at this point. 
so this two ohm and point five ohm, these two are in series, correct? Only one point is connected. So two ohm in series with this point five ohm. So we are going to simply add these two resistance values, and this series combination is in parallel with this five ohm. Do you all understand this one? So here five ohm is in parallel with the series combination of two ohm and point five ohm. So that can be written like this: five ohm in parallel with two plus point five plus means series connection. So here we can get five parallel with two point five. Then five into two point five by five plus two point five. That is the parallel formula. That is equal to twelve point five by seven point five. The answer is one point six 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 six. It is going on like that. So for our simplification, we can consider three digits. Okay. So here, the equivalent resistance is equal to one point six six seven ohm. So we can approximate that into one point seven ohm. But with this value, we cannot get that accurate answer. So we can consider at least three decimal points. Okay. So after calculating the short circuit current and equivalent resistance, in the next step, we are going to draw the Nathan's equivalent circuit. So here, current source, its value is 30 ampere in parallel with 1.667 ohm as equivalent resistance, and then consider the AB branch. So here, its value is 5 ohm. We can consider the resistor as RL, and finally, we can find out the load current. IL is equal to the formula is current division formula. The total current I n multiplied with equivalent resistance by the sum of equivalent resistance and load resistance. Then we can get 30 into 1.667 divided by 1.667 plus 5. Then the answer is 7.5 ampere. Do you all understand this concept?